Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to an amazingly comfortable 59 degree Tuesday, the 28th of June. The high today is supposed to be 69 here in Toledo. Man, you gotta love the Northwest summers, because they can sure be comfortable. Look at Kylie out there scratching. Oh, she stopped now. She's doing her head at first. Now she's <laughs> see her rocking back and forth. It's funny how they find their little scratch spots in it. Had to save a couple of swallows this morning that fell out of their nest. And mom was up there. She was not happy about that. So we get them back in. And uh, they stayed. Mom went in there with them and a bunch of carrying on. And they stayed in there. I, looks like the rest of them are ready to fly. I think these kind of leap before they were ready. But uh, all's well that ends well. Hopefully they uh, they do well. I love the swallows. Keeps the bug count down. All right. Welcome to a very comfortable Tuesday. 61 and cloudy this morning. Take it. Because almost 100 is a little intense. Yeah, it's a little warm, huh? Yeah, it does. Makes it hard to do stuff yeah, outside. That's not normal northwest weather. Yeah, we're just We like it nice it. and cool and comfortable. Yeah, not too cool. We just like, you know, we're whiny. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> yep. It used to northwest. It doesn't need to change like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mama, have yeah, yourself Mama. a wonderful Tuesday. <laughs> And I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. So I got to lean plan. way against the door in this one. I can't just. I know it's not like. Yeah. Yep. The hole in your face. All right, Mama. All right. Have, have a wonderful day. You too. Love. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Mm, bye. Hot dang. Another uh, 12K surface on a on a boxer BMW. This whoa. This one's a. Uh, 450 RS, a tw think, yeah, 2020 model. Almost said 19. Ooh. So yeah, it's been very BMW. Somebody said, "Yay, you've gone back to BMWs." I'll go back to whatever they give me. <laughs> it's not like I uh, pick and choose. Come on, gal. I was thinking about going a different route, but my test route is my test route. If it's bikes I've been riding before, I don't mind taking something different. His, uh, <laughs> his guards here hit his mirror, so every time you make a turn, it bumps the mirrors out of the way. You make a tight turn anyway. been just absolutely phenomenal out here today there's one point it almost looked like it was gonna rain but oh man the temperatures have been phenomenal so nice so much nicer than that blistering heat not that that's but that's pretty hot when you get in the upper 90s but oh well I grew up in the heat in the south. Texas was, was, you know, four, usually about four weeks out of the summer that, wow. But the nice thing is, is when uh, fall came, fall was really long and very comfortable. Oh, very comfortable and uh, the humidity would drop a bunch. And it just seemed to linger on forever. <laughs> I remember we went back with the kids. They loved it. They didn't like that peak of the summer, though. Holy moly. Oh, don't run back on me. That's funny. I tell guys at work and stuff. I, I probably mentioned you guys, too. When it gets that super humid heat, it's hovering in the hundred and teens, you know, for seems forever. And uh, motorcycles stop. When you have that kind of humidity, if you ever ridden when it's really humid and hot at the same time, 
I'm not talking about the heat index. I'm talking about the actual temperature being really hot. And, um, <laughs> and the humidity is really high at the same time. The heat index is just through the roof. But anyway, the faster you go, like on a motorcycle, the, uh, the wind hits you at speed, obviously, because you're riding down the road on your motorcycle. It is like a blast furnace. So uh, people just quit riding. It's just so hot. You guys remember I was going through uh, Pendleton, Oregon, and it was... You remember the camera conked out even? It was one of those rides. I think it was on my... Was that on my road? My O2 Road King? Classic, it could have been. Man, we're going through Pendleton, and I'm tucked in behind the shield just trying to get completely out of the air. The, the ambient air with that humidity and that heat was just like cooking you. People probably that, you know, don't ride motorcycles probably looking at me going down the road. Why is he tucking behind that shield? Do you think he'd want, want all that wind to hit him? Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> Hit that old cruise control and I'd hold on into the middle and tuck behind that big old Road King's screen. Wow! Yeah, that camera conked out. Overheated the camera and it didn't work for the longest time. <laughs> that was the hottest trip I've ever taken. Even in Oregon and then up, up here into Washington, it was nuts. God, it was so nice once I started getting up north towards my house and the camera came back on. I tried every once in a while and I just, I forget what it, popped some message. I don't think I could read it most of the time. I'm sure it was probably saying an overheat message. <laughs> that was an old Hero 4, I think, back in those days, wasn't it? times but talking about the heat it is not hot at all out here look at that 67 degrees that is very comfortable very comfortable t-shirt weather fast riding ever I think I'm going the right way it's been a minute since I rode back in this way geez last year probably the last time How'd you get lost? Oh, I drove through this neighborhood and just couldn't figure out where I was no more. <laughs> Did I lined it up correctly? Yeah. Perfect. Hope there's not a lot of cars parked because I can't see what's coming farther down the road and you're like, um, um, you nudge out, nudge out, and next thing you realize your front wheel's actually in in the traffic. You're like, oh scary. This is just the cutest complex, duplex, whatever it is. I have no idea. It's probably just regular apartments. Oh, you must be predicting something. Well, when it gets dry around here, the dust collects on everything. You wouldn't believe what came off the windshield of the old war wagon. We haven't drove that thing since last week sometime. Or did we even drive it? Yeah, we drove it last week. I hit that old windshield wiper and just a little sling and mud. Oh man, it hasn't been dry that much, has it? Apparently it has. These R RSs, they got that perfect kind of shape uh, fairing to it. It looks like he's lifted and brought back his handlebars. I, I like them things nice and low makes it feel like the sport touring bike it is but the only the only bummer is is they use the uh, you know because the GS GSA and the R model have just this very lively spunky motor but the uh, flywheel effect and uh, the, what the pistons are made out of it's just they're much more responsive and it's very noticeable they're very lively and the RT and, and RS are, are are notably mellower I think because you know it's more for touring you don't want that 
I don't know if the motor's smoother. They don't seem any different to me. I don't really understand why they do what they do. But yeah, RS and RTs. So I wish they just left the same same motor as the GS, GSA, and R and put it in the RS. Come on, man. This is a sporty sport bike. It's, it's not the big touring bike. Give us the, all the performance. You notice, I don't know if it's mapping or how, I know the crank weight. So it takes more to get the centrifugal mass of, of, of massing. <laughs> And a very different throttle response. You know, you ride something with a light flywheel, man, it's woo -woo. But heavier flywheels will act like a tractor, you know, they're just once going, it keeps going. Another 12K. Valves, again, right in the money. I was also a little concerned about this one. That oil, I don't know how long it's been since he changed it, but that oil did not look good. You know, it's got, you know, magnets and all that stuff, and there's like, it's not like something was breaking down, but it stunk and it was black. You know, most people do these at the 6214, which is 10,000 kilometers, and, um, I mean, the oil gets darker, it looks like it's been run, you know? But it's never just black. And uh, some Matt and I were smelling, trying to see if we smelt any clutch. And you know, it was just <laughs> for some reason why you do that on RS, I don't know. But it's out doing smoky burnouts and smoking this clutch. It's not a clutch smell. It just smells like nasty old oil that's been in there for a while. I don't know. I don't know the story. The, uh, you know, it called for a... Uh, a diff oil change too but when you change it for the first time it kind of shocks you because it looks you're like oh no it's all kind of gray and dark and nasty looking well bmw does just like honda does with their differentials or bevel gear gears angled bevel gear um they lob some molly in that thing so that first diff or Level gear oil change is just nasty You're like oh no something's wrong <laughs> well uh then you do the next one it it uh because the first one is at 621 the next service is at 6214 and just that oil change you did on the first service gets rid of there's hardly any sign of the uh, molly in the in the oil anymore this one at almost 12,000 miles in for a 12k service looked like the very first time you changed the oil and it didn't look pretty and it had a funky well it's, it's a hypoid so it has a funky smell anyway but it seemed to be a little extra nasty but I don't know the story so I'll give you guys a little walk around on this thing my thumbnail will have to be from this side he's missing the left hand cover <laughs> and it looks like before it, it exited it rattled around and kind of scratched things up it almost looks like something leaked there I'm not gonna I don't know if that's something I can't say on YouTube or not but uh it's like he cut himself good old RS yeah buddy so I'm sitting here today and I get an email from YouTube and uh, a video I did in early May sometime I used the song and that's why people go oh you ought to put it to music man every time I put something to music I get a copyright thing even though I pay to use this music so I don't get copyrighted and it's not where I'm getting it from it's these third party spiders that crawl around looking for that kind of stuff and um, anyway so you know I have the right to use it so I have to do do the dispute thing it took about an hour and 45 minutes for uh, YouTube to come back and saying the copyright has been released <laughs> dang it that's how I don't even mess with that music 
it's just too much of a pain in the butt unless you specifically use um, YouTube's music and that that can be weird too I don't I don't, whoa, I don't really like what's in there this thing is so low to the ground I have this total feeling that I'm on a GSA or something so I'm expecting the ground to be much further underneath me and I keep like putting my, putting my feet down too soon I'm like god dang the ground's right there it's like a super low low chassis all right hold on let me get the gate here open says me well somebody mentioned well if the gate wasn't so wide it would go a lot faster well yeah if it was a lot shorter it'd go a lot quicker it's by design because we get semi trucks in here and customers are coming and going with vehicles and stuff and we need to be able to get around them sometimes more than one delivery truck comes in at the same time and so that's the reason it's so wide and the other thing um remember the gate was just something we closed at night just to keep people from rambling around down here with customer stuff well as things went crazy one thing led to another well the gates locked and now it just does that auto thing so times they are a change so i'm gonna bounce thanks for coming with me on a rs rip <laughs> well hello there youtube about to stop that well almost two things leo's over there freaking out because the rabbits know how far he can go and they go right up to <laughs> right up to him and literally drives him nuts they sit yeah. there pick little things out of the yard nom, nom, nom. and leo's just like if i could reach out and grab you i'd have you you know <laughs> so it goes into hysterics it pisses him off yeah and he, he like like a child he does a screaming thing i'm really mad at you rabbit i know i don't know what he i don't know what he would do to a rabbit either but i don't think any of them wouldn't mean to hurt them but they yeah. would because they're bigger than a yeah rabbit. i think they want to play with everything leo he likes when he plays he rolls on you yeah that wouldn't be good. yeah he He's kind of squishes dog. the little dogs abby annie annie likes to play with him and everything's good until he decides, okay, I'll play back. So they start wrestling, and he pins her down. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, oh, you see these little black paws hanging out. And she's screaming, Leo, get off of her. <laughs> like, well, she wanted to play. There you go. So she went too far. I'm stopping now. But anyway, <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Very, very comfortable day. Yes. It's like 65, 64, somewhere around there. Ooh, mm. We're going to sleep good tonight with just the windows cracked. Yes, that would be nice. No ACs, no nothing. Just crack the windows. You just hear, hear the wind. Hear the, the wind. Birds. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, on that. That go. wasn't much. <laughs> that was another story. That wasn't a goodbye. So we're going to say goodbye now. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. I didn't even put a hat on. I got helmet here. All kinds of mess Your going on. Your hair's too short to have helmet. It is now. I just cut it. I like it nice and short. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no style. Just cut it off. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.